Good morning, Exa. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I am surprised. I me too. <laughs> Where's everybody today? I'm like, oh no. Yes. It's what happened? Late. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was, you know, I was thinking, am I in the right Zoom meeting? <laughs> yes, because it's very, very, very strange. Yeah, I know. I don't know where everybody is today. And they haven't texted either, so I don't know. Oh, there is Gabby. <laughs> ah, yes, Gabby is here. All right. Well, we have, we have um, students now, so that's okay. <laughs> so how was your day yesterday, Exa? Uh, very funny because uh, yesterday in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I think I want to eat pizza, so I go out. I went out to, to get buy pizza. A, no the ingredients. Oh, nice! All right. Yes, and I did a pizza. You made it! Wow, nice. Was it delicious? <laughs> yes. Of it's course. my pizza. <laughs> it's your pizza. All right, very good. And what? Um, what's your favorite type of pizza? Like, which ingredients are your favorite? Uh, meat. Okay, so you're a meat lover. Yes. Ah, interesting. Very nice. Nice. All right. That's nice. Okay. Cool. Hi, Gabby. Gabby. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you, Gabby? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm asleep. <laughs> You're sleepy. Oh, no, I think everybody's sleeping today, actually. <laughs> we were talking with Exa. We, we don't know where you guys were because it was <gasps> just Exa and then you and nobody else. Oh, no. I miss Ely. Ely. Ely's here. Yeah, very good. Now we have three people. <laughs> That's good. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, welcome to class. Thank you for being with me. Another morning. We have like a couple of more mornings to go and then you can rest a little bit. All right. And then uh, we'll wait until next year to see what happens. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about, um, we were finishing talking about obligation, prohibition, and permission, all right? And as you remember, we were talking about can, allowed to, or can't, and not allowed to, be not allowed to. Uh, we were also talking about have to and have got to, all right? There's Araceli also. So good, we have five people now. I mean, four, I mean. So that's what we were talking about yesterday, all right? So let's see. Um, Ely, can you come up? Can you tell us an example using have got to? Related, for example, I'm going to give you a situation and you tell me what you have got to do, all right? So you are invited to this um, wedding, all right? So what have you got to do when you go to a wedding what have you got to do what do you have to do and i want you to either use have got to or have to she's frozen or am i frozen she's frozen she's frozen right i thought she was thinking <laughs> oh my goodness i'm like oh she's Deeply thinking about the situation. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Let's see, Gabby. Gabby, are you frozen? No, no. no. <laughs> All right, so Gabby, can you mm -hmm. think uh, if you are invited to this fancy? Oh, there is Ely. Okay, forget it, Gabby. Hi, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, Ely. Don't worry about it. Okay, so Ely, so you're invited to this fancy wedding. All right, what have you got to do? I have got to gift for the... You have got to buy a gift? Buy a gift, yes. All right, okay, very nice. You have got to buy a gift, very good. All right, so Exa, if, for example, they tell you at your job that you're going to get a promotion, all right, what have you got to do when you get to this new position? What do you think you have got to do when you get to this new position of your job? I got to read the, the new position duties. Okay, very good. 
All right, very nice. So you can make a great job, right? Very good. Thank you. Let's see, Gabby. Um, for example, I don't know. Let's see, you are you're driving and then your car breaks down. What have you got to do? What do you have to do when your car breaks down? Um, I I have got to to go to the mechanic. Right. All right. To get it fixed. Right. Uh -huh. All yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, it would be a very good idea, actually. All right. Very good. Hi, Araceli. Good morning. 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 How are you? Fine. Thanks. All right. Okay. Very good. So, Araceli, let's see. If um, you have a friend, all right, and then she or he got um, a bad news about something, all right, what have you got to do? Like you feel that you have to do something for him or her. What have you got to do? Um. <clears throat> Um, maybe she have to to buy both of them. All right. So if if your um if your friend was given a bad news, uh, like something that is not nice, what have you got to do for him or her? Um, so the bad bad news. Bad news? Uh, bad news, yeah, like something that's not nice, not something is not expected. What have you got to do? All right, it's okay, mm -hmm. let's see. It's okay, Araceli, very good. What about the rest of you? If, you? if someone, like a friend of yours, they get a bad news and then they tell you about it. What have you got to do? What do you think is your obligation to do or to say, or like you just get frozen? Teacher first, uh, uh -huh. I think that maybe uh, I have to listen the the my friend's feelings okay. in this moment. All right. And after maybe <laughs> I have to, uh, offer my help all right if okay. i can oh if you can right i guess it would depend also on the uh, problem right or the bad news very good what happened thank you carlita thank you Araceli. what happened guys this is for anybody that wants to answer what happens if you find someone a co-worker cheating or doing something not right at your job what have you got to do really and honestly <laughs> i know it's hard have you got to tell on him? Got to tell. Yes, I've, I've got to tell him, tell him, Gabby. <laughs> All right, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. All right, any other ideas? I've got to tell to his coordinator or her coordinator. All right, okay. Okay, very good. So I, I get, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I guess it would be like a lot of the times it would depend on the situation, all right, of like the circumstances and everything. And then you kind of think, okay, what have I got to do on this, um, on this situation, right? Sometimes uh, people do react to things that they say, okay, I have to do this and they do it. And some other people, they just kind of like say, you know what, I'm not going to have to do anything. It's not my business. I better not do anything, right? Because then I can get in trouble or whatever else. So I guess it would depend. But there are some things that we are obligated to do, all right, depending on the circumstances also. I don't know if you guys have any questions about the usage of can or can't be allowed to or not be allowed to and then have to or um, has to don't have to, doesn't have to, and have got to. Like all the model verbs of um, obligation, permission, and prohibition. I don't know if you have any questions about the usage or anything. No, we're okay. Yeah. 
All right, very good. I think yesterday we were um, we were about to finish these exercises. Oh, that's not it. Oops, no, that's not it. All right. Just also, you know what? I wanted to tell you about this. When we talk about have got to and everything, uh, if you say I have got, be careful with I have got to and I have got. That's very different. One is showing possession and the other shows obligation. So what makes the big difference here is this, the two at the end. All right, if I say I have got to help you, all right, that's my obligation to help you. If I say I have got a new car, that's a possession. All right, so what makes the big difference between I have got to and have got is the two at the end, all right? So one of them, if you see it like this, that's the possession, I mean, that is the obligation. If you see it without two, is the possession. So be careful, don't get confused with that because that's like actually very, very tricky and very close. All right, we're gonna do these ones here. What I want you to do, it says, um, I want this one. rewrite these sentences using a model, all right? You can write it, depending on what it says, I want you to write it as an obligation. If it says absence of obligation, it's like a permission kind of thing, and prohibition, all right? You may use um, have to, you may use have got to, you may use must if you want to, although we haven't seen it, but we know that it also express, expresses obligation. Can you take a picture of this, guys, please? So you can go and work on it for a little bit, and then we come back with a new topic. Okay. Take a picture of this. All right, finished? Okay, and then, you know what, no, that one's fine. Just let's take up only this one, all right? So read it with your partner. You have to read it here and then decide what you have to do or what you're allowed to do or what you can do, all right? Like if it's a prohibition, it's an obligation, or is it a permission, all right? Try to use it that way. Giovanni, good morning. Were you able to take the picture, Giovanni? Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna send it to your groups. In case Giovanni doesn't have the picture, you may share it with him, or let me know and I can also go to your groups and share it. All right, so we're gonna open up two uh, three groups right now. Here, oops, that, okay, there we go.
Must. Must. Hey, Gabby. Hi, Eli. Hi, Have teacher. Hi, teacher. Have a driving license. Must have to a driving license. Let's to have. Teacher, yes. Uh, after a uh, after must is. Uh, uh -huh. Must to have. No, just must no. have. It, is, it must have. Right, have. yeah. Uh -huh. Must as the model verb and have as the verb, normal verb. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Or you must can have use to. Must have. And this, in, in this case, is must have, uh, must license. have a driving license. Yes, must have a driving license. Or uh -huh. you can say all drivers have to have a driver's license. Have to have uh, right, mm -hmm. or all drivers uh, have got to have a driver's license. Okay, yeah? mm -hmm. okay. It's compulsory. 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 Compulsory is like an obligation. Okay. You need to learn Spanish. Uh, I know. Peter need to learn Spanish. Maybe. Peter. Uh huh. Because he, you need to. It is an obligation too, right? Yeah. Also. Teacher? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember that in this case we were concentrating in have to and have got to. But okay. to express obligation, you can use need to, should, oh, must, okay. all right? Uh-huh. So you may use okay. need to also, Peter, it's okay. Okay, Peter have, uh, have Peter to. Have to. Have to learn yeah. sp Spanish. Is it Eli and Gabi, is it compulsory for you or is it like an obligation to learn or to know English at your job or not necessarily? No. Not necessarily. Not right. necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But is it is necessary for right. life. <laughs> right, for life. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was asking because in some jobs it's like very like almost mm -hmm. like an obligation you know because of the type of job you guys could do right yeah. mm -hmm. yes but some clients uh, only speak english oh all right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. then you then you see the necessity of learning it right yes <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. to go on the trips or anything Customer. Don't 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 have to right. Don't, don't have to to go there. Right. To go on the trips. On the trips as well. By the hotel. Customer don't have to go on the trip organized by the hotel. Mm -hmm. Organized. Organized. <laughs> organized by the hotel. Very good, yes. By the hotel. Very good. Passengers are allowed Yes, 
Messenger. Messengers don't have. Don't have. Yeah. Don't have to smoke in this compartment. Don't have to smoke. Uh huh. Okay. Passenger, passenger, don't have to smoke in this compartment. Or you can also say, because we're talking about, we could also talk about permission. We can say passengers are, oops, sorry, passengers are not allowed to smoke in this compartment. Oh, okay. We could also like use it, right? Uh, Passengers are not but allowed the, to. But the but the sentence is is uh -huh. the couple is is, is are and allowed. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes, you're right. Yeah, it's there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Para que me vean. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Passengers are not allowed to smoke in this compartment. Mm -hmm. All right. So in that way, you can leave it like that, like how you guys uh, just make sure that you have the S, uh, Gabby. Passengers. Ah. Yeah. Passengers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Passengers don't have to smoke in this compartment, or you can say passengers can't smoke in this compartment uh, because you're okay. using allowed to so you can like make the switch it's okay but i mean both make sense okay it's letter f it's necessary okay. to book in advance You, you have got to. Mm -hmm. You have got, got to. You have got to. Who can advance? Mm -hmm. To book advance. To book in advance. To book. You have got to book in advance. It's essential to have a visa to travel to India. You have to have, teacher. Sure, you can say that, yeah. Uh, yeah. If we were talking, for example, about Ili, we, we would have to say she has to have, right? Uh, uh -huh. The first she one, like, like for third person singular, right? Then you have uh -huh. to change the has, the first one, for have, but the second one is like that. Let's see, she has to, mm -hmm. has to have, have. Yeah. to travel to India. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. H. It's not uh -huh. necessary for you to shout. I can hear you better. Better to blow. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> to shout. I can. You hear. don't have to. Uh, to shout. I can hear you perfectly. I can hear you. I can hear you perfectly well. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, check that one, eh, eh, Gabby. Check letter C. Gabby and Ely, check letter C. Peter, at least Peter has to, right? Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> has to learn Spanish, yes. Teacher, the, the, the negative form to mm -hmm. have got to is... Uh, have not. What is the have not? Right, yeah. Ah, yeah. Have not got to. Mm -hmm. Have not to. Have not got to. Yeah, it's haven't got to or have not got to. Like if you contract it, it's haven't or hasn't, right? And then got to. Hi, hi, Bania. Bania is with us right now. All right. So, for example, on the last one that you were making, girls, for about the, the one of sh shouting, you can say you have not, you haven't got to shout. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can hear you very well. So you can also use that one. So yeah, you, see, have, you haven't, haven't, haven't got, haven't got that right to okay. shout. Uh huh. Right. You know the max. Yeah, and the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because because haven't got to it is it's more important. Yeah. yeah, it's like if you you're like like I know you're talking to your sister or something and she's like you know what I, I say hey you haven't got to shout I can hear you very well I'm in front of you right so it's it's okay. a little bit more informal right and and we use it more we use that one more than have to or has to all right but I mean it's both of them are are important and both of them are used mm -hmm. right. Okay. Very good. Right, yeah. Very good. And you don't eat you have yeah. the other example. Right, very good. Yeah, nice. Very good. All right, we're going to go back. Very good, girls. Good job. All right, so let's, let me just check number one. Then I'll have to go to school on Saturday. Yeah. Or I must have a driving license. Okay, for letter B, you use must, all right, that's okay. All right, if you wanted to change it to have, you can say all drivers have to have, all right? And it's okay, it makes perfect sense. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, you have can leave it like that. Have. have to have, right. All drivers have to have, oh no. <laughs> have to have, yeah. It will, all drivers have to have a driver's license. Or you can say all drivers, uh, have got to have a driver's license. You can say it in many ways, all right? It depends on, on who you're talking to or which one you want to use. At the end of the day, is an obligation, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, very good. Okay, so we're going to go back, all right? So uh, we can share the, um, the sentences with the rest of your classmates, and then we're going to begin the new topic for Section 5, okay? Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Good job. Thank you. All right, very good. So Franklin is with us also, and Vanya and someone else came in. I think Carla, also the other Carlita, came in as we were working on the groups. So that's nice to have you guys in class as well. So uh, we were talking about this one, guys. I don't know if you were able to finish. Uh, I'd say you were able to finish all the exercises. Yeah, right? Yes, very good. All right. And Vanya was just joining Claudita, I mean, Iliana, and and Gabby also, and then uh, Franklin was in the other group with the rest of the, the, uh, the classmates. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna talk about this, all right? Uh, this is what we have here. For number one, it's not, or letter A says, it's not necessary to go to school on Saturdays. What are the options that you have, that you guys came up with? Maybe you have like different sentences because maybe you use have to, or have got to, or not allowed to, or can, depending, as long as it makes sense and you're conveying the idea that you want to convey, it's fine, all right? So let's see, it's not necessary to go to school on Saturdays. You, uh-huh, what else can we say? You haven't got to go to school on Saturday. You haven't got to go to school on Saturday, that's one choice. Another one? Ely, you had another one uh, with Gabby, I think? 
You don't have to go to school on Saturdays. Right. You don't have to go to school on Saturdays also. All right. Very good. Depending, for example, remember the have got to or haven't got to is a little bit more informal. So if you're talking to your children, all right, and you say, no, you haven't got to go to school on Saturdays, it's okay. Because remember, that's a little bit more like informal or more commonly used. All right. Very good. Anybody else has a different answer for letter A or those two are the, the only ones? I think those two are the only ones. What about letter B? It's obligatory for all drivers to have a driving license. What do we say? All drivers have to have a driving license. Yes, all drivers have to have a driver's license. All right, another choice. Oh, that's the only one that you have to go. Have got to? Have got to. <laughs> yes. Have got to uh, have a driving license. Excellent. Yes. All drivers have got to have a driving license. Very good. License. Nice. Yes. Very good. Another option, or those are the only two? Exa, what did you have with your group? Did you come up with something different or not? Uh, it's in our city. Oh, okay, all right, very good, yeah, okay. Letter C, let's see. I don't know if Franklin was able to do it. Letter C, it's compulsory for Peter to learn in uh, Spanish. Franklin, do you have an answer for that one? Yes, um, morning. Morning. Peter, Peter uh, has to, uh, to learn Spanish. All right, Peter has to, right? Peter has to learn Spanish, very good, because third person singular, very good, has. frankly. Yeah, has, all right. Any other, any other choices, guys, or any other options that you came up with? Peter has got to learn Spanish. Excellent, yes, very good. All right, nice, let's see. Letter D is not obligatory for customers to go on the trips organized by the hotel. What do you have for that one? Customers don't have to go on the trips organized by the hotel. Yes, organized by the hotel. Organ <laughs> organized. <laughs> That's okay, Gabby, very good. Organized by the hotel, very good, nice. Uh, any other choice for that one? No. Customer haven't got to go to the trips on the trips organized by the hotel. By the hotel. Very good. By the hotel. Very nice. Uh, letter E. Passengers. Uh, passengers aren't allowed to smoke in this compartment. What do we say with that one? Any ideas for that one? Passengers don't have to smoke in this compartment. Passen Sorry, Eli, can you say it again? Passengers? Passengers don't have to don't smoke have to. in this compartment. Okay, any other choice with that one? Passenger haven't got to smoke in this compartment. Right, or any other one that you can think of? What about using can? Passengers can't smoke in this compartment also because it says not allowed to, right? So we can like associate it with can. If I'm not allowed to, I can't. All right, very good, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, next one. It's necessary to book in advance. Anybody? Uh, you got, you've, you've got to book in advance. Mm -hmm. You've got to book in advance. Any other choice? You have to go. You have to. Very good. You have to book in advance. Very nice. Excellent. Letter G. It's essential to have a visa to travel to India. Mm -hmm. You have to have a to have a visa to travel to India. Right. Okay. All right. Very good. So remember that if you uh, switch it to third person singular, you say, "Oh, she has to have a visa to travel to India." Or she has got to have a visa to travel to India. That's okay. If you're using a third person singular. But in this case, it said you. So you can say you have to. Or you have to have. Or you have got to have. Or you must have if you want to. All right. Now, uh, the last letter, letter H, is not necessary for you to shout. 
I can hear you perfectly well. Ideas for that one? Options for that um, one? You, you don't have to shout. I can hear you perfectly well. Excellent. You don't have to. All right. Or any other one? You haven't got to shout. Excellent. Very good. Yes. You haven't got to shout. All right. Excellent. I can hear you perfectly well. Very good, guys. So here we're wrapping up the topic of permission, prohibition, and obligation. All right. As I was telling Ileana and Gabi, remember that there are many ways in English to express an obligation. All right. You may use have to, you may use have got to, you may use must. All right. It's necessary, it's compulsory. So all those words they express obligations, all right? Like an obligation that you have to do something. Some of them are used more than others, and that is the difference, all right? But at the end of the day, what you're trying to express is an obligation. How you express it is up to you, all right? Depending on how strong of obligation it is, all right, that you say you must do it or you have got to do it. It's the same, it's an obligation, but it's a little bit less formal. So it depends on who you're talking to, depends on the context, depends on what, what you want to say, depends on your mood, all right? So it depends on many, many things, but you know that they exist, all right? So that is how we can express obligation, permission, and prohibition here. All right, very good. Any questions before we move on to the new topic of section five? The first topic of section five. No? All right, very good. Remember that you may ask any questions if you feel like it or if you need to, all right? Like you can do it here or on like a private chat if you want to ask me something that you haven't like gotten clear, all right? Very good, guys. So with this in mind, I'm gonna start with section five, all right? This is the last section and today is Tuesday. So we are right on time to finish up with this whole um, unit or this whole program here. So number five, section five, it talks about things that we wish they were different, all right? But unfortunately, they are not, all right? So this is what we're gonna talk about. I'm just gonna show you this here on the platform. And we're talking about unreal conditional, all right? When we talk about unreal conditional is when we say that something is not true, we wish it were, but it's not, all right? That's when we, when we, when we say, um, if I had money, but I don't have money. If I had a new car, but I don't have a new car. If I had another job, but I don't have another job, all right? So you're only wishing, all right? You're only dreaming. That is why it's called unreal conditional, all right? Now, um, this is what we're going to study right now. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna show you the, the uh, this right here, hold on. We don't wanna see that. I just wanna see the conversation here. Just give me a second. There, all right, okay. So this is what I wanted to show you here before we actually get to business, all right? So we have the conversation. It says, uh, if I found $750,000, all right? If you notice, you're using if, all right, because it's an if clause, it's a conditional. All conditionals begin with if, some of them begin with when, some, some of them begin with different uh, other words, but the most common ones, they begin with if, all right? Now, this one, this particular condition or conditional that we talk about is the unreal conditional we're going to use with if plus simple past and then the rest of your sentence, okay? Let's see. Teacher, yes. Uh, Carlita uh, writing in the chat. Oh. I don't know what happened. Okay, like this chat, on the group chat? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, Carlita, thank you. <laughs> Whoops, oh no, what did I do? I'm just trying to type out to Carlita here. All right, okay, so thank you. All right, so here we have, if I found $750,000. Can someone, can we read the conversation? We're not going to play it because you can do that in your, like at your home, but I want to hear your pronunciation. So can someone be Phil and another one can be Pat for me so we can just check on pronunciations and stuff? Volunteers? I need two volunteers. Only two. Me? Thank you, Eli. All right. 
Me? Thank you, Exa. Very nice. All right. So, Exa, you're Phil, and then Ili, you are Pat. Okay. Okay. Look, look at this. Some guy found 70, 715 thousand. <laughs> Thousand dollar. Very good. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yes. He it, and the owner of simple thanks him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven seven fifty hundred dollars. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Ah, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go straight to the small to the mall and spend it. I could buy a lot of nice clothes and jewelry. Uh, someone might also find out about it, and then you call. You could go to jail. Mm, you got a point there. <laughs> You've got a point there. Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, uh, Exa and Ili. I want two more, two different people to read it, please, and then we're going to go over it. Me? Okay. Who are you going to be, Phil or Pat? Mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whichever one. That's okay. So you're going to be Phil. I need a Pat. I need someone to be Pat. Me. All right, thank you. So sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Some some Hi. guy found seven hundred fifty thousand. Ah, sorry. <laughs> seven seven thousand fifty. No, 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 seven hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. Numbers are very complicated. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Um, dollars. He returned it and um, the owner sim simply simply yes thanks him with a phone call. Oh no, okay. Mm -hmm. You are kidding if I found seven hundred fifty thousand I will return it so fast. Excellent, frankly, nice number. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What could you do? Well, I go a straight, a straight, a straight, a straight mm -hmm. to the mall and spend it. I could be, uh, I could buy uh, lots of nice uh, clothes, mm -hmm. clothes yeah. and jewelry. 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 Excellent. Someone might also find out about about it Excellent. and then you could go to hang to jail to jail, to jail. Mm -hmm. very good mm, you you have got a point there excellent you got a point there very good thank you all right guys let's see i know numbers are very complicated especially law like large numbers all right so it says uh it says look at this some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars he returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I would I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. All right, very good. So here, let's check the, um, besides the pronunciation, which just, uh, we just did, all right? Um, any, any vocabulary, guys, that you don't know or that you want me to repeat? Thank you, Carlita, all right? Uh-huh, any vocabulary or we're okay with it, with the conversation? No, we're okay with it? Okay. Just remember, guys, that when we see things like this in English, for example, return it, uh, that's another one, spend it, all right, about it. When you see this, you have to join the sound, all right? You have to link it. 
you cannot say, for example, I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. You cannot say, he returned it. Sounds like very silabiado, like what we say in Spanish, all right? Like we're learning, and we are, all right? But we need to join the sound, all right? So when you see it, you have to say, return it. And it becomes an it, like an it, and it joins it with the next sound, all right? So return it, spend it, I don't know, take it, for example, or about it, read it, put it, whatever it is. When you see it, just make sure that you link the sound, all right? So it sounds more fluent. Another one here, let's see, uh, remember these ones? When you say would or could, all right, the L is silent. You don't pronounce the L. You don't say would, you, say, you don't say could, you say could and would, all right? The L is silent. You don't pronounce it. Very good. This one, jewelry. All right, jewelry. All right, so that's like, you know, rings and earrings and necklaces or whatever. That's jewelry. All right, any other questions about this, about the conversation? No questions? No. no? Perfect. Okay. No. Now, guys, if you found $750,000, what mm. would you do? <laughs> All right, what would you really do? Think, all right? We can, we're allowed to think today about like, we can imagine if you found $750,000, Ely, what would you do? Honestly, Ely, all right? You're walking on the street and suddenly you see a bag, all right? It has no name, it has no number, it's just a bag full of money. What would you do, Ely? Okay. Maybe I... I go to the the mall, maybe. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So you would go straight to the mall. Yes. All I, right. I I I go to buy buy me a, a car, maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Let's see, Exa. If you're walking, all right, and you found a bag full of money, all right, what would you do? Uh, probably I save in my house uh, for a month or two months <laughs> and, okay. check, and check the news All so right. someone tell about it but if, if no I buy a house oh. in the beach cool <laughs> All and, right. and a car okay <laughs> Very good. So you would do that. Very nice. Frankly, so if you found a bag full of money, what would you really do, frankly? But honestly speaking, uh -huh. yes, <laughs> it's very, it's a, it's mucho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will uh, buy a house in the mountain. Oh my goodness! Exa at the beach, yes. and you're in the mountain. All right. Very good. And um. Uh, and I go the uh, good travel uh, all over the world. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. All right, interesting. Yes. Cool. Uh, all right, nice. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> okay, very good. Gabby, what would you do if you found a bag full of money? Mm. Well, first I I I buy a new house. You would buy a new house, okay? Yes. <laughs> Yes, in the other place it's not in my neighborhood. My neighborhood. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. And I don't know. I try to to I don't know. Poner my no sé my own enterprise. I don't know. Yeah, you would have your own business. Uh huh. All right. Own. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. All right. So you would be or, an entrepreneur. Uh huh. <laughs> or or invert. In, Invest it, invest, 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 it. invest oh. in the, in the, in the action, I don't know. The, oh my goodness. The, bolsa. <laughs> <laughs> the broke, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So you would become a broker, very good, nice, all right, good. nice, Gabby, very good. Araceli, what would you do if you found a bag full of money? Uh, I don't know, maybe a little, <laughs> all of the, I mean, uh, Mentioning? Yes, they are. 
a little bit of everything, right? Go to the mall, buy a car, buy a house, invest it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, a little. <laughs> All right, interesting, very good. Okay, Vanya, what about yourself? What would you do if you found a lot of money? Maybe Vanya's like a little busy here. Carla Beatriz, what about you? Um, well, uh, maybe I buy a car, a car, a house. Uh, <laughs> and you're making a list? <laughs> yes, the, 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 the idea, the, uh, the Gabby's idea, it's beautiful. I, I am thinking that because uh, a business is, a, is, is more sure than uh, increase the the money oh yeah uh, yeah of course <laughs> uh, but i think that um maybe i i help to to to, to people all right uh, that needs uh, here i know a lot of people that doesn't have um food right. or or cloth and mm -hmm. so um maybe if i can the the possibility I, I can have to to you some help. All right. not, not too much people because <laughs> not too many. I, people. All right. <laughs> yes, but uh, but a few. Uh, yes. Right. If I can, I I I will do it. <laughs> All right. Very nice. All right. Now, thank you, Carla Beatriz. What happens if you guys found money, but it has a name on it and it has a contact number? Would you still keep it or would you actually return it? What would, what would you guys do? Throw the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you didn't see anything. All right. Okay. I, I try to return it. Okay. You would, Ely? Maybe, maybe, maybe the owner give me a... a a little a bit. Yeah, <laughs> a, a reward. A, <laughs> a reward. Yes, a reward. Okay. Let's hope they would. All right. Very good. So, guys, we need to go. I need to take attendance. But tomorrow, we'll keep on talking about the... Um, we're actually going to... Uh, I'm going to um, tell you how the structure is of the Unreal Conditional. All right? So, today, I'm not going to send you any PowerPoint because we haven't really seen it. Tomorrow, when we finish it, then we'll send it to you. All right? Let's see, mm -hmm. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Pero, I saw Veronica. Hmm, maybe she got disconnected. Osman Exaú de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Thank you. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Present. Eh, Dalila Estela Silva Morán. María Araceli González. Sinia Elizabeth Mejía. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales. All right. Karen Lisette Reyes. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you for being in class with me another morning. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye, guys. Sure. Yes, you might. Uh, help me in the platform. Okay. Which number no. do you need help with? Okay. In my case, it's the meeting. The midterm. Meter. Uh huh. Oh. All right. In this case, I, I don't know. Uh, Charlie Sheen. Two and a half men is a popular TV show. 
I think there is a mistake there anyway, um, Giovanni, but I think it's the mistake is in the platform because they are using in. Let me check it, Giovanni, and I'll get back to you. Like, let, let's, um, yeah, because they're using, yeah, they're using the, prep, but I think the mistake is here. Oh. Here, all right, so you're writing it the same, probably, let me check it. I need to, like, finish mm -hmm. here, and then I'll, I'll write to you, like, right, right now. What is it? Is the midterm, midterm, uh, B, right? B, see. Sí. Okay, yeah. And... Mm -hmm. Tengo otra. The order is 99%. Oh. Tengo. 95.9%. Why? <laughs> Why? All right. Section 5. Yes. All right. This. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure to. what I would go. Oh, I would go, I would go. Can you move it a little bit so I can finish up seeing the sentence? I would go jogging two or three times a week. All right, let me, let me check that one too. What is it? It's 5.2? 5 5.2, 5 uh, 5.4. Number two. All right, so Giovanni, uh, let me finish this here right now so I can go check it and then I'll text you right now on, your, on the WhatsApp. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, Giovanni. Okay, bye. Very good. Bye, Vanya. Bye, Giovanni.